Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel where I will be crocheting it forward in this video by showing you how to make Kermit the Frog and Big Bird um, added to my Sesame Street slash Muppets series. Um, so let's get started. The materials you'll need are going to be some yarn, worsted weight is what I'm using, Red Heart. You're going to need some yellow some black, some turquoise, some white, some red, some lime, and I have um, kind of like a light maroon uh, for Kermit, a couple of stitch markers, and your crochet hook. I have a small hook on standby that I always use, and I'm using a J6.0 hook. So let's get started with Kermit first. Kermit is going to follow, if you've been um, uh, making the series, he's going to follow the same uh, concept as with the other um, characters that I've made, like Elmo, Oscar, uh, Cookie Monster, and Bert, um, and Ernie, with a little bit of a twist. So. We're just going to um, go ahead and get our yarn. Let me uh, put this over here. See where I'm at so I'm not crocheting off center like I did in the last video. And I do appreciate everybody's patience with that. So we're going to grab our yarn and we're going to start with our magic circle. I'm going to grab the lime. You can do your magic circle how you like. This is how I do mine. So, um, I like to do an unfinished knot and then do a slip knot with one chain to secure, chain two, which won't count for anything throughout this pattern. And we're going to double crochet five. One, into the magic circle, I mean, two, three. four and in your fifth double crochet you want to yarn over once I like to uh, tighten the magic circle a little bit so it's not all loose and then yarn over and just go through one loop and here's where we're going to do our color change for this part of Kermit's mouth and we are going to be carrying the yarn as we've done in the previous videos we're just going to attach our yarn you can attach how you want. It's totally whatever you're comfortable with. There's no right or wrong way. I always like to just tie in one time just for security. And so we are going to take our green yarn and carry that. So I like to put it right here. We're on the other side of the magic circle. We don't necessarily have to carry our tail. We're going to finish this row of 10 by doing five double crochets in our magic circle in the new color. One, two, three, four, five, plus the five in lime or green. That is going to give us 10. We want to tighten our circle now. Oops, I'm sorry, let's redo that last one because we have to change colors. We are going to go ahead and do the double crochet and then when you yarn over the second time, only pull through one loop, drop your working yarn in the back, pick up your green and finish the double crochet. And again, this is for a clean color change. We are going to single crochet, I mean we're going to slip to the top of the first double crochet and then pull on your red to tighten it and secure it. You always want to pull on the previous working yarn and of, close, and of course close your circle. So that completes our first round. We're going to do our second round and this is going to be 
All right, we're going to chain up two. We're going to double up in each stitch. So this side is going to have 10. And then when we come around this side, we're going to switch it up a little bit. So in that same uh, stitch, we want to put, we want to make two double crochets. One, two, two in the next, four, five, six, two in the next, seven, eight, Whoops, let me start that over because we were supposed to carry our red. My total bad, guys. There it is. So I'm going to pick up from the two um, chains to get us our height. Grab our red here and just stick it right here along your, your previous row of green on top of those double crochets so we don't mess that up. So two double crochets in the first stitch and in the next each of the next four. So that's two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and then remember in that tenth. We're going to switch colors at the second yarn over of the double crochet. First yarn over, pull through. Next yarn over, only pull through one loop. Drop your yarn to the back. Pick up your red and finish that. Pull on your green to secure and stick your green back up in front so we can carry it. Okay, so this is going to have 10... Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So we're going to do one, two, three, four, and in this next stitch, we are going to put two, two triple crochets. We're still doing an increase, but we're just going to put triple crochets. One, two. Okay, that's going to give us the little dip down here for his uh, for his tongue. And then picking right back up, two double crochets in the next stitch for our increase round. Two double crochets in the next stitch. And then, is that our last stitch? Let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Yes, it is. So we are going to, well, I'm going to undo that last stitch and switch colors back up. Yarn over on that second one, drop your color to the back, pick up your green, yarn over and pull through, tug on that red slip to the top of that first double crochet in green and then pull our red back up. Actually we're going to cut our red because we are actually done with that color. You will need to pick up your black though. Okay so goodbye maroon, burgundy, red not sure what that was. So we are going to chain two and then the repeat for this round is going to be two double crochets in your first stitch and then one in the next. And one in the next. Two double crochets in the next. One in the next. Two double crochets in the next. One in the next. Two double crochets in the next. One in the next. Two double crochets in the next. 
and then one in the next and here's where we're going to add our black so we want to yarn over for that first time and then grab your black and attach how you normally do and whichever way works for you I'm going to tie it as secure there okay wait a minute I didn't do that right I'm so sorry guys I'm trying to get this done here so we're going to go ahead and go through your first two loops and then go through one now we want to attach so we can pull through that second loop now for those of you that did it already kudos for those that were following me I am so sorry hopefully you'll watch the whole video All right, so carrying our green, okay, we're going to go ahead and pick up where we left off on the increases, which is two in the next, and we should be in the, the burgundy color, the next color, one in the next. Two in the next, one in the next, and then for these next two stitches, we have um, triple crochets. So we're going to put two in the next, triple crochets, one. What is going on here? That was we're gonna yarn over twice. One, two, three. One triple crochet in the next. And then we are gonna pick up with the double crochet increase with two double crochets in the next. one in the next two double crochets in the next and you should end up evenly with one double crochet in the next and we're still carrying our green now if you weren't carrying your green you'll have to start that round over now we want to slip oops see I did it again forgive me here Okay, color change. Yarn over once, yarn over, go through one loop, drop your black, pick up your green, pull on your black, and cut your black, because that's all we're doing with the black. So grab your scissors, cut it, and then now we are going to single crochet to the top of that first double crochet. Okay, pull your black a little bit and okay moving on this last round is just going to be green no carrying so we're going to chain two make two double crochets in that first stitch same stitch and the repeat for this round is two one one so the next stitch is going to be one the next stitch one the next stitch two double crochets in the same stitch one 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 in the next one in the next two in the next one in the next two in the next One in the next, two in the next, Oops. one 
one, two, one, one. One, two. One, one. You should up should end up evenly on your repeat increase for this this whole part of green. So then we're gonna go on top of the the black. I'm gonna start with two double crochets in the same stitch. One in the next. One in the next. Two in the next. One in the next, one in the next. Okay, now coming up is our triple crochets. Let me see if I think I just did double crochets over these. No, I did triples. So we have two on one, so we're going to put two triples in the next. One triple in the next. Sorry, I keep getting off camera. And one triple in the next. Now we are back to two double crochets in the next. One double crochet in the next. One double crochet in the next. Did that do that? Yeah. Two double crochets in the next. And then you should end up evenly as well with this round. One in the next. One in your last stitch. And then slip stitch to the top of that first. Chain one. And now we're going to Pressing off, and now we have our Kermit face. And you see how it dips down a little bit? That's how it does in his pictures. Okay, let's grab our white yarn and maintain your black if you still have it in your vicinity. I am all tangled up with this yarn, so I'm going to grab my white. But I'm going to keep my black on standby. And we are going to do his eyes. I'm just going to do one of his eyes and then you can just repeat it. It's super easy. Um, just like the other eyes with just a little twist where we're making this these lines over here on each side of his pupil. So let's grab our white. Okay, let's make our magic circle. Chain one, and we are going to put ten double crochets. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Then close your magic circle and then slip stitch to the top of your first double crochet. Okay? You then leave enough tail for sewing. I'd say about six to eight inches. Depends how many rounds you're going to do. Enough to secure it. Okay? And then what I like to do is just work. Um, take my smaller hook and then just work your... Uh, working yarn down to the bottom of where the tail is at and you can you can actually just you know do a knot right here but I like to tie to tie it now I'm only going to cut the tail not the working yarn I kind of did that tight, so we don't want it tight. We don't want it all bunched up. 
it's not gonna look cute and I know it's okay because this is a one-sided project so I'm just gonna cut the tail part not the working yarn because we are going to use this to sew okay so we'll put that right there and grab your black real quick now we're gonna do the pupil so let's do our magic circle Turn over, chain one to secure. And now we're just going to put eight single crochets. One, two, sorry you can't see this with the black, three, four. You might need to tighten that circle a little bit if it's getting a little out of control all over the place. One, two. Four, I think five, six, seven, eight. Okay, close your circle up and then just slip to the top of your first double crochet, which might be a little challenge because it is black. And then just do the same thing, fasten off, leave enough for sewing. Okay. And then pull on both of those, work this. I like to pull it in that next stitch so it's not that noticeable. Oops. Work it down. Actually, it's already pretty far down because we only singled crochet. And then just tie a knot. Only cut your tail and then I will show you how to sew this on we want to put this right in the center so let's thread our needle and I have this really nice larger needle that I don't have to struggle with unless your yarn decides to separate which happens quite a bit but cool Pretty much cooperated so we're we're going to sew this pupil right in the center and I'm just gonna go into the top of our double crochets the stitches are right there so I'm gonna go in and out in one stitch out the next I'm gonna do this one time all the way around in one out the next in one out the next now we're back at the beginning okay and now we have to make these lines so decide where you're gonna put them and then just go to the top of your black right here like I'm doing and then go to the top of the white you don't want to do this very tight okay see how it makes that line Go back in your black area, okay? And now you want to go straight across. Just gonna make these even as possible, okay? And then you might have to, you know, move it around, rotate it, just so you could get pretty much as even as possible. Come back out on the other side of the pupil and then back in the other side like that okay so you see how you have that line coming straight across I come back here and then from here I'm just going to because my needle's so big I'm gonna try not to do it too tight I'm gonna take my needle off take my smaller crochet hook and from here I'm gonna time I'm gonna tie my knots using my hook but I'm not going to make them tight because I don't want those lines bunched, bunched up. I really want that, that characteristic of Kermit's eyes that the other Muppets don't have. And I'm just going to work it through one more time for security. And that should be secure. Okay. There you have it. And then all you have to do is sew it the same way 
using these um, stitches as your guide in and out right here on the top of your stitches you want his eyeballs to be I use like two um, as a guide I use two double crochets at the end and then started sewing so that's what you want to do and that will be your Kermit okay now we're gonna move on to Big Bird and we want to grab our yarn I mean our um, our yellow please everyone grab your yellow and we are going to do our magic circle you want to pause the video and get your materials that's fine also okay do our magic circle and then we're just going to do the general one two and then ten double crochets so I'm going to do this kind of fast because by now everyone should be an expert on your basic circle traditional pattern 10 in your first row 20 in your second 30 in your second or second third and fourth see I'm over here running my mouth one two three four five six seven eight nine ten close your magic circle slip in that next Oops. chain two two double crochets in that same one this so we have ten in our first round we're going to do twenty for this second round and that's two double crochets in each stitch so we have two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen seventeen eighteen and your last stitch nineteen twenty slip to the top of your first double crochet okay chain two two the repeat is going to be two one two one all the way around two in your first for a total of 30 in round three two next one three next one four five next one six next one seven eight next one nine ten eleven next one twelve next one thirteen fourteen next one fifteen Next one, 16, 17. Next one, 18. Next one, 19, 20. This should be about halfway around. Next one, 21. Next one, 22. Next one, 23. Next one, 24, 25. Next one, 27. Next one, 28. Next one, 29, 30. Okay. Slip to your top of your first. Chain two. And then the repeat is going to be 
two double crochets in your first round and then one in the next one in the next for a total of 40 and that's going to be our last round before we start doing big birds hair so we have one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen seventeen eighteen nineteen twenty twenty one twenty two twenty three twenty four twenty five twenty six twenty seven twenty eight twenty nine thirty thirty one thirty two thirty three thirty four thirty five thirty six thirty seven thirty eight and your last two stitches thirty nine forty okay we want to join at the top of your first double crochet with a slip stitch okay and now we are going to do one two three four five six seven seven we should be doing seven shells okay so we're going to chain one skip one stitch and then uh, let me see six double crochets so we're going to skip we chained one skip our next stitch and then yarn over and make six double crochets one two three four five six skip a stitch we're going to slip stitch skip a stitch and yarn over six double crochets wait a minute back up here so we're going to skip a stitch single crochet skip a stitch six double six double crochets yeah two three four five six skip a stitch single crochet skip a stitch six double crochets one two three four five six skip a stitch wait sorry about that skip a stitch single crochet in the next stitch skip a stitch six double crochets one two three four five six skip a stitch single crochet the next stitch skip a stitch another six double crochets one two three four five 
six, skip a stitch, single crochet. And let's see, one, two, three, four, five. We still have two more to go. Skip a stitch, six double crochets. One, two, three, four, five, six, skip a stitch, single crochet, the next stitch, six, I'm wondering if we should make that last one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Mm, you can if you want to. Um, I'm going to go ahead and do it. Skip a stitch. Six double crochets in the next stitch. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Now we're going to chain one, skip a stitch, and then slip stitch. Okay? And then we're going to chain one, fasten off. Okay. Now, that's Big Bird's hair. I'm just going to work this to the back. So it bothers me sometimes. It's in my way. My, okay, distracts me a little bit. Okay, so what you want to do is go ahead and make your 10, if you want to pause the video, make your 10 double crochets in white for his eyes. And I did a blue outline because all the pictures that I've seen on the internet had Big Bird's eyes with this blue around. So you want to pause and do that. Um, you might want to make two. Go ahead and get your black together and meet me back and I'll show you how to do the ring around his eye. Okay, so we're back and all we're going to do is just single crochet all the way around his eye. That's it, to get the blue effect. Now you don't have to do this, um, but this is what the pattern calls for, so I'm just going to single crochet. I think I did two in each stitch. Single crochet two. One. Actually, I didn't. These aren't single crochets because they leave a gap. Super sorry. We are going to slip stitch. So we want to chain one and in that same stitch, slip stitch. Slip stitch two. In each stitch till you get back. So you should have 20 slip stitches. Okay. The slip stitches can be a little challenging. Just try to do them really loose so that your eyeball isn't bunched up. I find that if you twist your, uh, your hook down, then it'll go through. And they're just two slip stitches. Sometimes what I like to do is just give it some help, pull it over with the other hand. Again, we're just slip stitching. We're actually going to use the blue to sew on and not the white. Slip. Slip. And I really didn't mean to carry the white, but hey. It's there, it wants to hang out. <laughs> slip. 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 You should be in your last one now. Again, you should have 20 slips. I'm just a tight crocheter, so this is usually challenging. 
And then what I like to do is just go to the top of that first slip and that's enough. Leave enough tail so you can sew that in. Okay, and just pull it through. And if you have a little hole like I do, right there, I'm just going to pull my yarn right over it. There. Okay, so that's going to be his eyes. And again, I really like the big eye effect. So let's move on to his beak, and we will be done. Grab your yellow again. Okay. And we are going to do a one round nose, and then we're going to attach his beak. Okay, so do your magic circle, chain one to secure, one, two, and the one round is going to be uh, a row of 12. This first stitch is going to be a triple crochet. And then five double crochets. One, two, three, four, five, and then another triple crochet. And then five double crochets and then you can tighten that magic circle right now if you want and there's one two three four five pull that magic circle together and now we want to close our circle and this point you want to pull your yarn and we're going to come back to this but we're going to grab our red and do the red part okay so we're going to count one two and our second uh, stitch we're going to attach our red Oops, sorry, I got off the camera here all involved. Okay. Chain one. Slip stitch. Or single crochet. One. Single crochet two. Single crochet three. Chain one. Turn your work. Single crochet one single crochet two because we're decreasing chain one turn your work now we're just going to do one single crochet okay and now we're going to chain one and fasten off okay so it should be a little point now we're going to pick up our yellow and we are going to single crochet all the way around till we get back. So the next stitch, and it might be a little hard. I'm going to, it's actually where the, the red is. And just like I said, we're just going to single crochet. So in that, this is the first round, first row of the red single crochet we're in the second round of the red single crochet we're at the third part of the red single crochet and then we're going to do two more single crochets at the top here because we're doing a corner one two three now we're in that second row single crochet third row of our red which is actually our first but we're going backwards single crochet and then now we're just going to single crochet all the way around till we get back to the beginning
Okay. Pretty easy. Just a, a little tedious maybe when you get to the red part, but nothing that you can't handle. Okay. And then leave enough room so we can sew. Okay. And there you have it. There is his beak. Right here. Let me see if I have an extra. But yeah, anyway, so his eyes are going to look just like that. Okay. Um, get your black and put it right here. We'll sew them right here. And then you have your beak. This has a little bit more red. Um, and I just wanted to simplify it for the video. So yeah, there you go. There is your big bird pattern and your Kermit. Thanks for watching. I apologize for any confusion. Uh, my next video, I'm going to teach you how to uh, bring it together for um, sewing it on a, on a blanket. I'm doing a C2C, but I'm also going to show you how to make these um, patterns into a granny square in case you wanted to do granny squares. So please subscribe. You can share this video if you'd like. Um, and again, thanks for watching, and together we'll continue to crochet it forward. Bye now.